Hello and welcome to today's tutorial session. Today we are going to look at three phase for air supply feeding and unbalanced star connected loads. So what we mean is that we have this three phase circuit over here that is a star and we've connected a certain load that is in this case ZA, ZB and ZC. And they are all unbalanced meaning that ZA has a different value, ZB has a, a different value, ZC also has a different value now they are connected together like this we have a connection like this like that and now we know that in three phase the magnitude are the same so we know that VA over here is the same magnitude over here and the same magnitude over here the difference is that they are all or they have different angles so the voltage at A has an angle of zero degrees the, ang uh, the voltage at B has an angle of minus 120 degrees and we have VC also having an angle of positive 120 degrees so now we are saying that this three phase or this star connected connection is now connected to an unbalanced load that is ZA, ZB and ZC so now what will happen is that we will have a line current over here that is going to be IA because this is line A. We will have a line current over here that is IB. We will also have a line current here that is IC. But then from KCL we know that IA moving from this phase will flow through this line, pass through ZA and reach this node. The same way IB from this phase will also flow on this line, pass through ZB, reach this node, ZC, that is the current on this line, that is IC, will also flow on this line, pass through ZC, and they will all gather at this node, this node, right. And from KCL, we know that these currents will add up, and they will flow on this line because that is the only path for it and that line is the neutral that's the neutral line so then from here we can say that i n is equal to i a plus i b plus i c so now this is the neutral current so before you can find your neutral current you should find the line current that is i a i b and IC. When you add them together, you should get the neutral current. And now, how do we find IA, IB, and IC? It is very simple. Um, in this kind of circuit, we know that there is a neutral line over here. And then the trick is that the potential at this neutral point is the same potential at this neutral point. So what we can do is that the, the voltage on this phase is the same voltage across this load the voltage on this phase is the same voltage across zb and the voltage across this phase is the same voltage across zc so then using kbl you can write loop equations you can see that there is a loop over here there is also another loop over here and the last loop is over here so then using kbl equations okay so using KVL equations. You can write equations involving IA, ZA, and VA so that we can find the line current. Right, so picking this loop, we can say that VA can be equal to the line current IA and ZA. So when you look, you take a look at this loop. You can write that equation. When we take a look at the, let's say this is loop 1, loop 2, loop 3. When we take a look at loop 2, we can also say that VB will be equal to this line current, that is IB, and the load here, that is ZB. When we take a look at this loop, that is the last loop, loop 3, we can see that ZC should be equal to IC times 
let's see so from these three equations we can then find ia so if you want ia ia is just simple going to be va out of va similarly ib from this equation will be vb out of zb and the last one is ic which is going to be vc out of vc that is very simple so now if you know your voltage at a and you know the impedance at z you can then find your line current ia if you know your voltage at b you can now find your ib that is the line current knowing your load at b so to find the line current ic all you need to know is to find the voltage across this phase that is phase c and then know the load at zc so that is vc out of zc and you get your line current ic but then if you are asked to find the neutral current that is i n since the potential at this point neutral point is the same potential at this neutral point then you need the value of i a i b and i c to find your neutral current but note that in star connection we know that the line current is the same as the phase current and then the line voltage is equal to root 3 times the phase voltage and in three phase we always deal with just a single phase so maybe in a question there you can be given a line voltage and what you have to work with is your phase voltage that is if you divide if you want your phase voltage you just need to divide your line voltage by root 3 to get the phase voltage that is VA over here the phase voltage VB and the phase voltage here VC so now we are going to solve um, one example on the three phase four wire system with um, star connected on balance load so that we know how to go about it so in our example um, it says a three phase 400 volt four wire system has a star connected load with ZA to be 20 plus 0J ZB times 5 plus 20j and zc to be 0 plus 10j so what, what we have to do is to find the line currents and the current through the neutral so first i will draw my diagram to help me so i will draw my star connection like this And this is connected to a certain load as they are saying so let's say this is my load I have this load over here ZA this is my ZA this is going to be my ZV Z-C is going to be this one has a connection here and we know that our line current this is going to be A I A this is going to be I B and this is going to be our I C and we have the neutral current going this way that ZA the value is 20 plus 0J we have ZB to be 25 plus 20J and we have ZC to be 0 plus 10J so this is what I love to do I always change these values to their complex numbers 
So we're changing this is going to be 20 and go 0. This is going to be 10 and go 90 degrees. And this is going to give us 20. And this is going to give us 32.02 and go 38.66 degrees. Right, now we are saying that we had 400 volts, which is, in this case, our line current. So now what we are supposed to do is to find the phase voltages along this path, this path, and this path. Or in other words, the phase voltage here, the phase voltage as B, and the phase voltage as C. So then what can we do? We know that in star, VL is equal to the root 3 out of the phase voltage. So we need the phase voltage here, the phase voltage here, and the phase voltage here. Right. But then we've been given 400, which is our line voltage. So if you want to find the phase voltage, it's going to be VL out of root 3, which is 400 out of root 3. Then we can see that our VP... Our VP is going to be 230.94 volts. Very good. So now, in three phase, we said that they are, the magnitude of the voltages are the same, but then what differ is their angles. So the phase A will have 230.94 angle 0 degrees. Here we'll have 230. 0.94 angle minus 120 degrees and this is going to be 230.94 angle 120 degrees very good so now we can find our line current that is ia ib and ic so from the analysis we did before this example we said that we can pick a loop here and say that current at a that is IA should be the voltage at A out of the impedance at A, right? So VA is 230.94 angle 0 degrees out of 20 angle 0. You see the reason why I change this into polar to make it very easy for me. So I'll have 11.547 zero so current at ia or the line current ia is this similarly i can see that ib if i pick this loop down here i can see that it should be the voltage at b out of the impedance at b so what is the voltage we have 230.94 and go minus 120 degrees out of um 32.02 angle 38.66 so this should give me 7.21 angle minus 158.6 right so now i can find ic if i pick this loop over here so it should be the voltage at c or the phase c the impedance as C. So very simple. I can have or I have VC to be 230.94 and go 120 degrees out of VC out of ZC sorry and ZC is 10 and go 90 degrees. So IC IC is going to be 23 Point zero nine for angle thirty degrees A. So now I have my IA, I have IB, and I have IC. But I we said from KCL, if this line current IA moves through this impedance, and this IB moves through this impedance, and this IC also moves through this impedance, they will join a at a neutral and they will flow through this neutral line and we call that current a neutral current so then we can say that IN 
from KCL should be IA, that is this current coming, plus IB, this current coming, plus IC, that is this current entering, so IC. So then I have IN to be IA, and I, I had this value, that is 11. 0.547 angle 0 degrees plus IB IB I had 7.21 angle minus 158.66 plus IB sorry IC IC I had 23.094 angle 30 degrees so IN finally is going to be 26. Dot 39 angle 19.77 ampere very easy this is pretty simple so when you get the question you just have to draw the diagram or how it looks like putting your values like this your impedance or the load values change them into polar to make your calculations very easy and then find the phase voltages like this you have to include the angles so at a the angle is zero degrees at b the angle is minus 120 degrees and at c it is positive 120 degrees so you just pick loops here you pick loops here and you pick the last loop here and you can find your i and knowing i a i b and i c thank you